Is Elementor Pro worth it? It's maybe the most asked question, and there are a few components to it, so let's get right into it. Money. Yes, you would have to pay for it. Let's focus on what you actually get for your money. People often think Elementor Pro is just extra widgets. And in this video, I will show you which are the three widgets that would always make me buy the Pro version. But the truth is, it's about what kind of website you want to build and how much time you want to spend maintaining it. Before we dive deep, here's a quick affiliate note. If you want to explore Elementor Pro or check if there's a current discount, I've added my link in the description. I update it whenever something changes, so you can always decide with the latest info. No pressure, just check it out if you want. Now, let's take a proper look at what Pro really does. When I start building a website in Elementor, one of the very first things I do is open the Theme Builder. For me, the Theme Builder is the foundation of the entire project. It's where you decide how your website behaves, how pages connect, and how consistent everything will look in the end. I've seen websites that didn't use Elementor's global features, but instead just had their header and footer sitting in the websites and copying them manually. This will kill your website, and you don't want that. So I usually start by creating a clean header, then a footer, and then I move on to a proper 404 site. It gives the whole website a backbone and makes later decisions much easier. And of course, this is something you only get with Elementor Pro. Once that foundation is in place, I move on to pop-ups. To make my websites feel complete and professional, I always build at least one pop-up. There is always a reason to have one. Sometimes it's a newsletter sign-up, sometimes it's a deals pop-up, link is in the description. And the best part is that everything stays inside Elementor, which avoids messy plug-in combinations that break over time. Elementor's pop-up builder is one of the best, no need for additional plugins for that. After that, I usually take care of the forms, because I need them on pretty much every website I build, and honestly, the form builder in Elementor Pro is just convenient. I don't have to install a separate plugin or fiddle around with a different interface. I can stay inside the editor, design the form the same way I design everything else, and it immediately fits the overall style of the site. On my own website, for example, I used a really simple form where you could drop in your email to get notified when my free Elementor starter guide went live. And because the form is part of Elementor, setting up the technical side was pretty straightforward. I receive the entries, and you automatically get a confirmation email so you know everything worked. That's it. No juggling three plugins for something this basic. And because I'm in the EU, I always need to add a consent field so everything stays compliant. In Elementor, that's literally just dropping in an acceptance checkbox and moving on. Nothing special, but something you absolutely don't want to forget. What I like is that Elementor recently added a few new tools around forms. They're not mandatory, but they make things smoother if you need them. Then I look at how the website should feel when people use it. Not the crazy animations, but the subtle interactions that make a layout feel alive. One thing that always surprises people is that the sticky effect, the one everyone uses for headers, is only available in the Pro version. And that's the effect you need for the classic sticky menu. Or this famous sticky scroll card effect or for those scroll-based layouts where elements move slightly while you scroll. Nothing crazy, but enough to make the design feel more polished. And in real client projects, you use these things all the time. That is why I personally stopped trying to work around this in the free version. If you build websites professionally, or even just want your own site to feel more put together, having access to proper motion effects makes the process much easier. For me, it is simply one of those features that you end up using so often that not having it slows you down. And at that point, upgrading becomes less about the feature itself and more about keeping your workflow clean and predictable. Another important thing that is only available with Elementor's Pro version is custom CSS. I find myself adding custom CSS code all the time while a project grows. So having this option is really just a no-brainer to me. Also, I like combining custom CSS with Elementor AI because this saves me a lot of time. Once the visual structure is done, I tap into dynamic content. And honestly, this is where Elementor Pro becomes a real productivity tool. Instead of hard coding URLs or manually updating content, you start pulling information dynamically from WordPress. 
you set your logo link to home page once and never touch it again. You connect featured images, titles, dates, authors, custom fields, anything you need. And if you build blogs, portfolios, or anything that repeats, dynamic content becomes the only sane way to work. So I promised I'd show you the three pro widgets I use on literally every project. And these alone make the upgrade worth it for me every single time. Let's get into it. First, quick disclaimer, not every Elementor Pro widget is amazing. Some are outdated, some you'll probably never touch. But these three you absolutely should not skip. They're the basics a professional website needs. All right, first one, the secret behind those clean horizontal slides. The regular carousel, looks pretty on mobile. I love to off canvas effects on this one. You just drop in your static items and you're good to go. And that's exactly what separates it from the second widget, the loop grid. This is how I build all my blog overviews, all my portfolio grids, and pretty much anything that repeats. Instead of using the old post widget, you design your own card exactly the way you want it. Then Elementor takes that design and loops it for each post. You have full control over spacing, layout, metadata, animations, categories, all of it. It finally looks like something you designed, not something Elementor decided for you. And lastly, the widget most people don't even know exists, but I think it's one of the most important ones in Elementor Pro, the off-canvas widget. If you're building a proper mobile menu, this thing is gold. It gives you a sliding panel that works way better than the old pop-up hacks we all used before. Your menu links are always in the page source, which is better for SEO. You can put your navigation, a call to action, social icons, anything you want inside. For me, this solved years of annoying workarounds. Every client gets an off-canvas menu now, and honestly, it just makes the entire site feel more polished. By the way, if you want to check out Elementor Pro or see if there's any current discount running, I've added my link in the description. Sometimes Elementor runs promotions, so I keep the link updated. So let's sum this up real quick. Reason one, you save time. People often say, I bought the pro version and it saved me hours because I didn't need to hack the free version anymore. Or worse, a client refuses to buy pro, so you spend hours writing custom CSS and custom code just to mimic features that pro already has. Those hours cost more than the license. Reason two, maintenance stays clean. With pro plus the hello theme, you keep everything lightweight. Fewer plugins, fewer conflicts, fewer things that break. This matters long term. Reason three, support. You get 24 seven support. If your client needs help, you are not alone. Reason four, AI features. The new AI site builder saves a ridiculous amount of time. It builds wireframes, sections, images, even CSS. People say the time they saved already paid for three years of Pro Essentials. Reason five, replace plugins with Pro. If you are about to install a third-party plugin to get a feature Pro already gives you, it is time to upgrade. Fewer plugins means more stability, faster load times, and more design control. If you plan to upgrade, my link in the description takes you to the official Elementor page, and I keep it updated whenever there is a new deal or discount. It supports my channel at no extra cost to you and helps me make more videos like this. Let me know in the comments which plan you got and what you are building next.